Hey everybody, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good today. I'm glad today's Thursday. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish up our part four. And then the last painting, what I'm doing is, this is gonna be crazy. I'm adding all of the paint from each one and leftover stuff in a cup. <laughs> so who knows, like Sue Kleinschmidt said, there may be a Big Bang. <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna do with the last one on a big canvas, just for the fun of it. And I don't think I'm gonna do a flip cup, I think I'm gonna do just like a ribbon pour, just to see, kinda like, you know, cause we know they're gonna go crazy Salmania if we do a flip cup, cause it'll just whoosh. But if I do a ribbon pour, maybe it'll have some control. It'll look really cool. Who knows? So anyway, so today I'm using 91% alcohol. Don't have any less than that percentage. So I'm using that. What I did have to do though is because I already had my paints pre-mixed. And I started thinking, well, if I add alcohol to it, it's going to make it super thin. Uh, so yeah, I made it thicker so when I add the alcohol it won't be that thin okay so I just added a little yellow you straight paint to each one mixed them up and then these I left the same so I've watched many videos on dish soap and on alcohol and you can use you can dilute your soap or you can just add it straight in I'm not going to dilute it because then it'll just make this even thinner. Okay, that makes any sense. So, let's start. I'm going to put just a little bit like that each one. I mean, I'm not going to get carried away because it's only three ounces of paint. So, we should see some kind of different effect, you know, with each one. So, again, I have the same different sticks. I don't use the same sticks over again. And then again, if you want small cells, mix it quite a bit. If you want bigger cells, don't mix it a lot. So, but I usually mix in my silicone when I do use silicone quite a bit like this. So when you're seeing it on fast motion, it's like that. Um, I do it because I don't want no big gob of silicone because this is harder to clean so that's not very much but you know what I'm gonna settle for that okay guys if I'm making any sense at all you gotta compensate here and there a little bit with when you add liquidy stuff I didn't add no water to this one so we'll see that's it. Now the alcohol I have already in my little bottles. So like I said, this is a little thicker. Let's see, it's mountaining. I don't know if you've seen it or not, but I'm gonna do what I've seen, just a little squirt in each one. That's it. Nothing big.
air conditioner. It's kind of warm today here in Arizona. About 70. Uh, no, it's not 70. Probably about 100. It's going to go up again this week. Then back down again. But it was nice all week. 90, 98 degrees. All right, get drinking my coffee. We're at nine minutes already. So I don't think I'm forgetting anything to say. Yeah, you know, it depends on the medium you use to. It's all just different. Like I said, this is thicker now. So that might hold. I think that has a lot to do with cells too, guys. You want good, noticeable cells, have your paint a little bit thicker. There, I think everybody knows that. So there's the soap. Good. Pretty cool. Gonna torch. Mm -hmm, it's cool. Oh, it's better than the Dimethicon. I gotta be careful it'll drip on this one. I'm gonna have to do it like this. Because it don't want to drip on there. And I just did. I dripped on the other one. Well, that's all good. Not a big deal. Right there. And right there. Well, let's not. That's cool. That one's cool, man. And that one was not even diluted down. That's just adding the straight soap. There, yeah, that'll help. Okay. I'll have to do it off the screen quite a bit because I'll drip on it and I just did. Man, I like that one too. Bummer. Okay. That was cool too. This came out like the first one did. One color on one side, one on the other. Sorry, I can't do it over there. I gotta try to fix that one. Alright, bring it back to the middle. That's cool. Was it this way? Or the other way? I don't know which way it was, but let's put it that way. That's neat. So look at that. The soap worked really good. Oh my gosh. No wonder people use soap. And this was with... Yeah. That's cool. Just kind of... I don't know what I should do without that. But it dripped. Or a little off there. Just a little bit. I don't want to because it'll stretch those cool cells. I'm not going to. We'll just leave it alone. Because I'm this picky, but it looks cool there anyway. So, alright. So, that's cool. So, we'll let it set for a minute. We're at 13 minutes. I may have fast forward through some of that. Okay, so this is an interesting one because I have never used soap before. <laughs> Or alcohol. I mean, I've dropped alcohol on paintings. Uh, lots of little ones there. So these are not lacing, as you notice, like all the rest. This is the same consistency as the rest, too. So that's interesting. How the Dimethicon and, oh, that other one lacing like crazy huh that was interesting and then of course the alcohol so i'm kind of digging this even though 
Oh, it's blue, red, and yellow there. It's like the first one kind of in a row there. Look at that one. <laughs> right in the middle, a little purple. So, that's just a little bit of alcohol. So I suppose if I torched it, it would do a lot more too. Now, just because for the fun of it, because this is our last one, I'm going to drop a little bit of alcohol on this one. Because when you drop alcohol on a painting, it kind of gives you a frackle effect. But let's just see what it does. Kind of design it the way you want it. Well, yeah. Do another one right here. Another one right here. <laughs> Just to see. And if you use black, then it really gives it a frackle effect on acrylic. So. For instance, if I dropped black, then it would really go for it. But that didn't really do too much. Okay, so that was just testing that one. I mean, that was kind of a cool painting, but I can fix that too. Because that's got alcohol in it already, so I can just go around there and get those out of there. But anyway, that's cool. I take this one, and I don't think I missed anything that I wanted to say. Because I'm already at, what, 14, 15 minutes. So I did pick out a pretty cool positive quote here for today. The more I healed and released the old story, the more the canvas cleared and I could begin to see a new life ahead of me. There we go. So have a good one. Bye bye guys. Thanks for watching these experiments and, and uh, involving yourself with them with me. Okay, bye bye.